Hi there, everybody, and welcome to your Wisdom Wednesdays for today. I am Petrina Wisdom, your Fresh Start Specialist and CEO Founder of Mindful Living Incorporated and Hands of Comfort Nonprofit Foundation. So today we're going to talk about awakening openness. You know, I like to say that the best way to quickly disarm someone if they're a little bit standoffish or, you know, guarded is to love them just to get all up in their space, right? And just hug on them or love on them or look into their eyes and send love into their bodies. So that's what we're gonna talk about is awakening openness because even myself, someone who I consider and people consider to be very open and loving and just, you know, out there in that way, um, there's still areas in my life that I've been guarding and I didn't really realize it, but yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think we all have them, so you're okay. <laughs> so let's talk about this right now, the three powerful tips for awakening openness. Okay, our first tip for today for awakening openness is don't block your blessings. When we shut down and guard ourselves, we're not only shielding ourselves from potential harm or heartbreak, but we're also shielding ourselves from potential opportunities for love and connection. And I have to say that one thing I found by being pretty open and vulnerable and, you know, um, just, just open to new experiences, new people, and really wanting to get to know people in my life, there has just been so many really beautiful and amazing experience that, experiences that have happened to me and people that have come into my, my life. And our powerful tip number two for today is consciously create your environment. See, your environment will make or break you. So choose where and with whom you spend your time with very wisely. See, so if something doesn't fit or if someone doesn't fit in your energy or in your big vision for where you're going, um, you know, you typically know, right? It's that person who's like the energy vampire, right? Or the dream stealer, the one who doesn't quite get you. Um, and that maybe has a very negative out outlook on things and kind of, you know, makes you feel misunderstood, like you're an alien. <laughs> and the truth is you're not an alien. You just haven't fully owned your power and started to really surround yourself, insulate yourself with other absolutely beautiful, amazing people who are on your same path. So not only do we need to, to guard our physical environments, you know, make sure it's clean and tidy and really um, stay on top of that, not clutter our minds and our, and our space, but we also need to do that with our friends and our family members energetically that don't fit. And our last powerful tip for today going into our new year here is to feed your spirit. See, eliminate all of the negative input and intentionally replace that with more positive and affirming stimuluses. So one of the things I gave up years ago was television. Um, people think I'm a little nuts, but I don't really watch television. You know, I have one so that my kids can watch Nickelodeon, but <laughs> it's very rare that you'll see me sitting in front of it unless I'm watching a movie, which is very rare also. Uh, you really wanna be careful of, of the messages and the things that you're putting into your mind. Guard it with everything that you have. Read good books, spend time with really intelligent people, you know, spiritually more advanced than you are. Um, you know, attend workshops and, and just do things that are going to really nurture a better you, you know, build out the person that you want to become and just keep striving and growing and moving forward towards becoming the best, highest version of yourself. One of the things I've, lear I've learned and that I've cherished over the years since really learning about, you know, my environment, my energy, who I spend my time with, how I keep my, my actual space, right? All of the things that we've talked about in this Wisdom Wednesdays, one of the things I've learned is that the, the really powerful things that happen to us in life happen in an instant and they happen really unexpectedly just through, again, our associations, the people we spend time with, something that they might say on the fly that is so profound and so perfect, like something you needed to hear in that moment to actually shift your energy 
and move you over maybe an obstacle that you are having in your life. Uh, that happens when you're with the right people. Uh, moments where you're feeling understood and someone else that you're around says the exact same thing that you're thinking um, and, and maybe has a solution that you hadn't thought of. Just all of these things is so important, so important in your community. So I would like to welcome you to my community, PetrinaWisdom.com. I'd love for you to go there and sign up to my newsletter where you'll get this video blog directly inside your email box, uh, as well as other fun stuff, announcements, events, uh, other things like that. Connect with me, of course, on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest, you name it, <laughs> under Petrina Wisdom. And um, I just would also really like to remind you that if you're out there and you have some challenges you're dealing with right now that you just can't get past and need a little support, I do offer 100% complimentary discovery sessions on my website, personal coaching page, right at the top. Go there, click, schedule a time with me. I'd love to talk to you, hear more about what you have going on in your life uh, and possibly what it is that you're looking to, to put out into the world. I would love to support you in that as well. So it doesn't always have to be bad stuff. <laughs> Anyways, as usual, it's been great connecting with you. Uh, we'll speak again next week, preparing for this holiday season. Enjoy, and I'll see you then. Namaste.